the two kids actually use these for their beds when we're traveling, but we actually find ourselves having more than enough space, which is really nice. I had all these really lofty goals and I was actually very surprised that Mike was able to pull them off. I'm Mike. I'm Tina. I'm Cooper. And this is our bus. Come check it out. Welcome to Camellia's Kitchen. So probably one of my favorite things in the space is our classic refrigerator by Unique. We love that, a retro fridge. We're creating a pantry right here, so not everything is complete in the bus yet, uh, but we definitely are excited to have you in here touring it with us. Um, the vanity here is probably one of my favorite features. So we were actually able to find this at Home Depot. Um, and it has the great farm sink. We actually in here have a reverse osmosis water system, which is huge for us. That was one of my big things that I absolutely had to have in the bus. So what's nice about it is that it's right under here. Um, it's a, a zero water and you can actually just pull the filters in and out. That makes it super easy for replacing everything. Uh, we have the stove, I believe it's a gray stone and that actually runs off of our propane tank that is outside we have a 28 gallon propane tank we're going to create a cabinet up here but for right now we're actually loving this how it is it makes it easy for us to access everything when we're stopped and uh, making coffee and things like that. It's kind of our little coffee bar. Uh, we put some storage behind here what's great about the bus too is that we have these windows. We took all of the windows um, that were emergency exit windows and placed them all on one side of the bus. So when we're stopped at a place that has scenic views and things of that nature, we can just um, open them all up and get a great breeze and a great view. Um, so we put storage back here so we can move this up and down, um, but also be able to open the windows. So we wanted to be able to have access there. Um, we have some lights that are just touch lights under here, which are really nice, a nice feature. Um, we just plug those in when we're um, able to do that. And then that gives us some extra kitchen lighting. Uh, so this table actually retracts down. And what was really nice about that is because we wanted to be able to use this space. We're really lucky to have an emergency exit door on the side of the bus. So um, we actually use that quite a bit. Uh, so we wanted to make the space usable. So this can just drop down. Um, and then this piece here actually houses our trash, which is really nice. We can actually move the trash out here and make it a little bit more easily accessible. We also created this table that uh, the legs retract. So that actually is what we pop out and use uh, between our couches for our seating. Welcome to our living room. We actually love it. It's super cozy. We were actually able to get some couches in here. So we do feel like a lot of people make their own couches. Uh, I was able to, I, I did so much research for this piece. I wanted to find a couch. So what we did, we found a couch on Wayfair, actually. It's a sectional. The two kids actually use these for their beds when we're traveling. Uh, and what's really nice as well is the table that we use here for eating can drop down between the two couches and that can be a queen bed as well. So we have an air mattress we can put there if we have like another couple traveling with us. Underneath this couch is also a pretty cool feature. Mike learned how to do the solar system himself, which was very impressive, but it's all housed all underneath this side of the couch so that's very cool um, and the batteries are actually right underneath here so we've got the two uh, battleborne batteries and then we have a 1200 watt solar system uh, underneath here and all of the fixins and we actually so we can lift those up and access that at any point and then under here we just kind of use this for slide in and out storage for um, our clothes or the kids clothes uh, and when we want to do family movie night, we again drop that down. We put all the cushions here and all four of us can lay here and watch TV. Probably one of my favorite features about the bus is our mini split. So we have a mini split in both the front and the back of the bus. And so you would not believe how cool this keeps it. Uh, it's pretty incredible. They're silent. We have them on um, all the time. We actually most of the time only need to run one of them. They run off the solar system and they're super efficient. It's blasting cold air that um, you'd be really grateful uh, if you were here right now with us. It's so hot and it doesn't feel hot at all right now.
Camellia is a uh, international DT-466, and we chose this bus for the motor, I guess, size, right? Yeah, so it's actually an international 3000, but um, DT-466 is the motor. Um, that's a diesel motor. We've been told it's a million mile motor. Uh, it had about 140,000 miles on it when we bought it. Uh, we decided to do this in the pandemic as a project when we'd only been dating for like eight months. That was brilliant. Um, <laughs> so we've learned a lot about buses uh, and each other uh, through this process. And it's been super fun. And um, it's been really interesting to kind of figure things out along the way. Mike has been uh, the one that kind of puts my crazy ideas into practice and he's done an amazing job with the bus, so. So we are at our two bathroom uh, area, which is really nice. It's really nice with four of us to be able to have two spots where we can come and one person uh, on this side, we have our composting toilet. It's a separate tiny, uh, which we considered several. I think that Mike sometimes just wishes that um, we still had the black water system and a traditional toilet, but um, I definitely love the composting toilet. And so um, the separate tiny is the one that we decided on and it's actually working really well for us. Uh, we have the, um, we have another sink in this side as well, which is really great again for when, you know, we need to be brushing our teeth, but somebody else is um, showering. So on this side, we've got the shower that's all tiled in and really great. Um, it's a really great feature of the bus. It's so beautiful. And I was really impressed with what Mike was able to do in here. So um, we like to joke that I was, I had all these really lofty goals and I was actually very surprised that Mike was able to pull them off. And this is probably one of the areas where you uh, started to see that come together the most. What's really great is we have a hundred gallon of fresh water uh, underneath the bed back here. That's a really great feature. And there's actually an outdoor shower right on the outside of um, this shower here, which is amazing. Mike tends to use that one more. I use this one and we can typically go four or five days um, without having to refill. This is our bedroom. Um, we love it back here. It's so cozy, like when we're stopped. We had, for the longest time, we didn't have curtains, so I finally made curtains back here, and it is probably just our favorite place. The bed is ultra comfortable. Um, you know, we just got a bed that was similar to a tempered pedic but it's a bamboo, and it is probably better than our bed at home. It's just so cozy back here. One of our other favorite things is the fact that the door opens. Right now, if we opened it, you could see that the skyway is back there. So it's just huge for us when we pull up places. We can, and you know, because of the wheel well, we kind of can hang out and hang over cliffs even and just open the door. And that's a huge bonus with this bus. So it's, it's pretty amazing. We actually considered putting the bathrooms back here, but then when we thought about the fact that we could have the opening, uh, when we're parked places, that was a big, huge bonus for us. And then obviously the other mini split. We do have storage underneath the bed as well. Uh, we used to be able to access it from the front, but we found that that wasn't really um, as pertinent. We decided to just use what's behind the bed and up here for Mike and I's clothes, and then use what's underneath the bed for stuff that, you know, like a garage type situation, so. While we'd love to live in it full time right now, the kids are here um, in St. Pete and they're in school for the next six years. Ultimately, we'd like to travel a lot more, um, be full time in the bus. Uh, luckily, I work remotely and Mike has a business that he can kind of um, come in and out of here locally. And so once the kids are out of school, we plan to live in it full time, but we are doing some really long trips. We do even throughout the build, we've been taking it, um, being weekend warriors and doing a lot of trips. Uh, here locally uh, in Florida. Obviously, couldn't be a better state to have lots of places to go enjoy the outdoors. Um, so we've been doing that, but we're taking a cross-country trip this summer. So we're spending six weeks going all the way, um, essentially out to Washington, Oregon, um, back down the California coast and back. So just trying to spend as much time as possible on the bus.
One of the main reasons that we bought this bus was for the motor. Uh, it's a DT-466, had low mileage, a lot of power. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of good options out there. This was what was best for us. So we uh, also did this awning, which was a challenge to put an awning on a school bus. But uh, this has uh, been a great thing for us to have kind of a chill area and hanging outside the bus. So uh, one of the other things we did uh, is we had this storage put in the bus uh, for all of our cables, uh, chairs, tables. Tina picked this color. We actually went after the Subaru gray blue color and uh, we really like it. We really like the black accents with it. So we did a stop sign replacement. This actually still does work. We had a little bit of work done to it to kind of bring it back to life with just um, filters and stuff. But um, Tina had this made for me. Uh, every Anybody that knows me, say, I say, here's the deal all the time. So uh, she had this, the mountains and, and here's the deal. And uh, we were kind of excited. This worked out real good. This guy did a great job on it. And then one of the other things we did is, uh, was a must is putting air horns on the bus. So uh, sometimes we like to let people know that we're coming. So back of the bus, uh, we have the garage. So basically anything that we can store back here. Um, typically we will not have this generator with us. So it allows more room for storage of clothes, depending on how long of trips we're doing. But we've got our outdoor oven in here, yoga mats, um, you know, all the shower equipment's in here. And um, it's just great use for storage. Obviously our 100 gallon water tanks back here as well. And um, obviously we need the room. And then, you know, we typically um, have our bike rack and then we also flat tow a vehicle, depending on whether we have the kids or not. So this is by far my favorite part of the bus. We have the cedar floor, which is absolutely beautiful. And then on top of that, you have 360 views all the way around. Pull up some chairs, you sit and relax, drink your morning coffee. But riding the bus, it's, it's so much cooler than I'd say any RV. I mean, everything is like ours. Like we all put it together, my dad put it together. Just riding the bus gives you like that good feel about all the hard work he put in and it's kind of motivation to help all of us do better. Our socials, our TikTok and Instagram, Cruising with Camellia, we're grateful for this community and everybody in it. It's been a really eye-opening experience for us and we highly recommend it to anybody. You meet the greatest people. We, we uh, in closing, definitely are so grateful to have this opportunity and we're blessed to um, be given the means to build this bus. So um, I guess that's all. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming.